Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned in to the Talking Shed. Today we're here in the office and uh, it's too wet to run stuff out in the field. So we're gonna go over a few things uh, today. Uh, we're creeping up on April 1st, so we're hot and heavy in planter fertilizer installations. And I wanna talk to you guys about what I feel is the best kept secret in planter fertilizer application. You know, there's a lot of rate controllers out there that can be extremely sophisticated. Um, they can be very costly as well. And sometimes they can keep you from plant corn if you have a small electrical glitch. This is a Benco motor driver. It is, in my opinion, the most efficient, the most cost effective, and the easiest to use controller on the market. Now, it controls an electric pump. So of course we're limited to uh, certain situations we can use it. You wouldn't use this on a 16 row planter putting down 20 gallon per acre. But most in furrow scenarios, this is gonna cover it. But what I love about this thing is how simple it is. And we're gonna walk through that here right now. So what we do is we get power from the battery. This lead goes straight to your battery. That provides power. And so the power goes up through this controller and then it goes out this green <clears throat> and white wire and that goes down to your pump. So power goes in, out, down to the pump. And what you're doing here is this is just controlling how many amps this controller gives to the pump to speed up and slow down your pump, okay? From there, you've got a pressure transducer. And what this does is this goes in line somewhere to give you a pressure reading digitally. <clears throat> so this will be mounted in your cab, and as you're driving, you'll turn it on, and your pressure of your system will be read out right here. <clears throat> and so what we do, you've got orifices back in your check valves that regulate your row-by-row -row flow. And that orifice is calculated at a certain PSI. For example, let's say that your target PSI is 25. When you take off and go through the field for the first time, you just turn this dial to speed up and slow down your pump until your readout matches your target pressure. So for example, you would turn it until your number here reads 25 to match your pressure. At that time, we know that your rate is correct based on the orifice chart and uh, the pressure that you chose your orifice at. So we've got a simple pump, pretty cost effective, you know, definitely less than $1,000. We've got the Benco motor driver. Um, it's pretty cost effective as well. And uh, it's just so dang simple. We can put a whisker switch on here so that when you raise and lower your planter, it'll turn this thing on and off automatically. So um, it's as trouble free and, and simple and reliable as it gets. If you speed up when you're going through the field, maybe you go from five to six, that's fine, you just increase your pump until your pressure gets back to where you need it to be. Because whenever you speed up, you're gonna lose pressure if you're running your pump at the same speed. So you gotta increase your pump to then match your pressure again. So all we're doing is controlling our pump to match the pressure. And that's what the Benco motor driver is designed to do. So Fennig Equipment, we stock the Benco motor drivers. We can set you up with tanks, the pump, the controller, the red ball system, everything to get you guys going with a simple, cost-effective and easy to use planter fertilizer system that pays you back without a lot of headaches. So if you're looking for some simple stuff, fertilizer-wise, that's still accurate and reliable, look to Fennig Equipment with the Benco motor driver. That's what we're doing today, and thanks for tuning in.